Kyle, what are you doing? I'm actually on time for once. What's the hold up? I can't find my lucky charm. You know I can't do the show without it. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, there it is. She's a keeper, that one. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. There we go. You can, I'll take that. There we are. Thank you. Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE, e. and a big warm welcome to Ellie Roebuck. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Now, Ellie, we've got a great show in store for you, all right? And you guys at home, so do not go anywhere, because we've got the Goalkeepers Union in the house, all right? Yes, Karen Bardsley will be joining us, and we'll see how Ellie gets on when she takes on the tower later on. She's already said she wants to have a go. She's looking forward to it. <laughs> so let's see what you can do with that one. At home, you can get involved in the show as well. You can send your messages of support. Any questions you've got for Ellie, please get them to us. Use the hashtag lionesses down under. Ellie, how are you settling into your new place? Are you spending much time in the Scott room? <laughs> um, I'm actually loving it, to be honest. Yeah. It's real nice. Um, I've really kind of found a love for Australia to be honest um the beaches the weather and this is like winter and it's still hotter than England so it's, it's been <laughs> perfect to be honest I keep on saying that every single day I when you go for it. a walk the sun's out and I've seen you out and about obviously when we're in Brisbane and now here in Terrigal it feels like you've found a new home uh, in a way the coffee the sunshine the <laughs> yeah. beaches you, suits you're loving me. it suits me perfect but <laughs> I think it's important like when you're on a camp and I mean, a tournament, you're away from home for so long, like, you've got to find routine, you've got to find things that work for you and ways to switch off because you're here for so long and hopefully yeah. we'll be here for a lot longer. And you've been training so hard as well. We've seen a lot of video footage of that, but you did manage to get to Sydney for a few hours. Me and Kyle have a little trip planned, don't we? We're going soon. Any recommendations for us? Well, I did Katie Zellum's tours. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, yeah, I saw the whole of Sydney in about three hours, so <laughs> it was fun. Um, obviously, the Opera House, but the bridge was more like, took me back a bit more. It was... Yeah, amazing. What rating would Katie Zellum's tours get on TripAdvisor? Uh, this was my second tour. Oh, so yeah. I did Brisbane, then I did Sydney. You trusted um, her for a second tour then? Yeah, it was good enough to go back. Okay. Um, <laughs> we didn't. We did the Brisbane Eye. Okay. We wow. didn't do the Sydney Eye, so maybe next time I'd like to do that, but right. it was fun. I'd give it like an eight. Yeah, okay. that's decent. That's all right, Katie, if you're decent. watching, you need to get her out and about in Sydney more, maybe not in three hours next time. I was on Instagram, though. I was watching all of your stories. I was looking at all of your snaps as well. And I've seen yeah. the new uh, Instagram you've BTS. made. Yeah, the mm -hmm. BTS. Look at wow. this one, though. Yeah. I mean, with the tour guide right there. With the tour guide herself, yeah. <laughs> and the, um, look at that in the background. I mean, what a place this is. It looks like you, uh, you've really enjoyed yourself on those downtime. Yeah, no, it's it's been fun. And also, like, bringing the camera with me has been, like, so cool because it's a different side of things. Like, you obviously make memories on the pitch, but it's been nice to kind of capture those moments, like, in the downtime. Look and at stuff the smiles the as well. Oh, Lovely Look at that one. Right, talk us through this one because it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is, like, my favourite place on Earth, Sunshine <laughs> Coast. So that was the beginning of the trip? Yeah, I can see myself, like, moving there. Oh, wow, happily. really? Exclusive, it's all right. Exclusive. There we go. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Like honestly, I was just like picturing myself walking down the beach with the dog, down to the coffee shop. It was yeah, it was really nice. And a few, I think the first morning is with jet lag. We got up early and managed to see the sunrise, which was pretty cool too. Wow. Yeah, and amazing. what about this next one as well? I think if this next one was going on my Instagram, <laughs> it would be. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I would be captioning that. What's more go tasty, on. the goalkeeper or the pastry? <laughs> but my big That's question nice. to you is, because you're so healthy, did you eat it or was that just for the gram? No, it was very nice. And this is like New York Times top croissant, apparently. Oh, yeah. wow. Do you agree? So It was very good, yeah. I do like an almond croissant. It was... Yeah. Yeah, it was worth Can it. Can you talk us through the, the pose a little bit? Because it's that classic looking off into the distance. Was it candid? Did you know someone was taking the photo or was um, it planned? It was candid. It was planned. Oh. And I, I'm going to be 
open and honest with that was with Alex and she was like that looks good stay there so oh. then <laughs> I reverted back and stood and that's why I wasn't really looking at the pastry which would have been better but mm. I mean next time when you can go look again of love. Yeah, yeah of course of course now talking about favorite places that you mentioned before well, Katha's got a photo, um, a question, I should say. She's got in touch on Instagram and she wants to know what's your favourite photo that you've taken on your camera so far? So we've seen your favourite place. Yeah. Favourite photo. Explain it. What, what is it? Oh, that's a tough one. I actually think my favourite and probably the, like, the funniest one was when we'd literally just landed and all the girls are sat on the bench and they all just look absolutely zonked. Oh, is that with the sunglasses on and everything? <laughs> Nobody like, knows yeah. where they are and they'd all just like sat like this. I think Rachel has got a head like this and that was my favourite one, one of my first ones. Oh, very nice. Mm. Well, let's talk about the football side of things because obviously England's next match against Denmark, the preparations, they're well and truly on. We're just three days away now. You talked to us before about how good training was today. Tell everyone, I mean, how's it going? How are you finding it? Yeah, training's been really fun. Um, I've loved every minute so far, to be honest. Um, it was nice. The girls obviously got a bit of time to recover after the last game. But like today, we it was the first time training, obviously, on the Central Coast. And the turnout was incredible. We had so many fans there watching. And it's just a good atmosphere. The vibes are good. It's competitive. Look at that um, focused face. Yeah. Ready to make some big saves. Yeah. Looking forward to the game against Denmark. Obviously, in the past when we've played them, I can remember quite a few games against them. They're very structured. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we know that they've got some key players. What are you expecting? Kind of more of the same? Or do you think there's kind of been a bit of a transition in their squad? No, I think exactly that. I think probably their DNA is quite similar to what we've faced in the past. Yeah. Um, but I think as well, like... We have to be wary. They have key players. I mean, hard is not not bad, is she? So yeah. I think it's just being mindful of that, but also like not getting too distracted from what we're good at and making yeah. sure that we really impose ourselves on them. I think we can make it harder for harder. Hopefully, Jill. Think? Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. You, these puns will keep on coming. Yeah, yeah. just so you know. I've, I've had them for like the past ten years. Yeah. I think <laughs> you've missed them, right? I have missed them. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about being here at the World Cup. Your yep. first World Cup, I mean, must be such a, a special occasion for yourself. How does it feel to have been chosen to be part of this squad and to represent your country? Yeah, I think in general, this squad for me is pretty special. Um, last summer, I think it was an unbelievable summer and it's just, yeah, constant good vibes, good team morale. And I mean, to, to now be away at a World Cup oh, is... Yeah, These saves are unreal. amazing. Did you have like three coffees? <laughs> just having fun, Jill, honestly. Oh. I've just been having so much fun. Like, honestly, training's been great. You know what it's like? Match day minus one, Raz. Yeah. Like, that didn't been... look fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely well in my hand. <laughs> but just like, it's just been fun and competitive, and that's how we like it, isn't it? Yeah. And you know what? Warbuck could actually play outfield. That's how good her <laughs> feet are, as well as her saves as well. But we know that you've been watching this show every single day. Every day, so without fail. <laughs> yesterday we had Esme mm -hmm. on the show and she wanted to ask you a question. Take a look at this. Hey Robes, as a fellow Sheffielder, my question is, what is your favourite thing about Sheffield? Oh, right, we've got it on here as well, by the way. I made sure it was on there for both of you. Okay, so Sheffield, 10,517 miles away. We're a long way away from your home. Yep. What's your favourite thing about Sheffield? Sheffield United. Oh, the, oh okay. Not, yeah. not Henderson's source? Nope. Or, no. Sheffield United, it's in the heart. That's like, it. Yeah, it's in favorite my Favourite player? Favourite player, Jack O'Connell. Oh. Well, he was my favourite player. He's just left now, but... I have to say that, don't have Alex. What about a little shout out for Chris Basham? I actually went Chris to Basham. college with him. That's It's a very yeah. small world. Well, that, My dad worked with his dad. Really? Yeah. What, what a small, small world. world. He was such a hard working player as well. Yeah, so, he was, yeah, he's brilliant. No, yeah. Chef United. OK, well, the support is definitely back home in Sheffield as well because mm -hmm. Olivia Chapman, she's got in touch on Instagram to say, you've already done us all proud. We've all got your backs. Hashtag... Big up Sheffield Massive. 
So there we go. It. Yeah, big love coming from Yorkshire this week. Keep it coming using the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. We want to hear from you. Ellie, how special is that though, knowing that everyone's so yeah. far away, but you've still got all of that love and support back home? Yeah, it's so, so nice. And I think for, for us, obviously playing at the home Euros, we've felt that support so much because it was present. Went up to Sheffield as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which was like, that was a dream. Um, but I think now as well, although it's a million miles away, we still really feel that and it, I think it's important. The girls really do appreciate it. Yeah. Not quite a million, 10,517. <laughs> 10, no. I made sure that, that was right as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, well yeah I was on, on the map before, just making sure. Really so. nice. And more book, <laughs> I've got massive FOMO, obviously missing out on camp life. So I yeah. want you to give us a little bit of an insight. What's going on? What games are being played? What's the song on the bus? Like, come on, give us an okay, insight. Okay, so we do have the song on the bus now. Okay. I don't know if it's common knowledge or not, though. Come Ooh, on. Can we say it? She's looking We're off. Not She's an looking into the distance. From Valerie has yes. become the song of the bus. Okay, and can you give us a little bit? Is that all right? No, uh, I'll save that for <laughs> okay. a rainy day. Um, Zell's been a really good DJ. She's yeah. brought keep the on crew hearing this. and the vibe, that. the bus vibes. We've got like a little crew at the back, like Millie, Rach, Kira, Georgia. Better than the original back of the bus crew, Jill, Kaz Carney, Laura Bassett, Carly Telford. <sighs> yeah, because I'm part of it. I like now, that. Now I've got to back myself. Yeah, yeah, I like that I, answer. It's true. <laughs> I was when when that was happening, I was down the front <laughs> <laughs> not speaking to anyone. You know what happens so you make your way to the back yeah. and then you retire. <sighs> well, hopefully I'm far off that. Yeah, so a few more years. We've got a few more years. Right, we've got some more questions for you. But they're not from myself or Jill, all right. They're from your teammates, okay? That's because we got them. To pose lots of different questions like for people this. coming on the show, all right? They're completely anonymous, so nobody knows. You get to choose one of them, all right? And then you can open that up. It won't say who it's from, but open it up, read it out, and you get to. Was it a selected it. few people that got to ask questions? Because I'm not sure I got the um, invite for that oh. one. Oh, Jill, Jill even got the call up for that, so yeah. uh, sorry think, about that. I think it's over 30, <laughs> okay. the, the ones that are about to retire. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're not there yet. Yeah, We'll get you to write one later though, all right? Okay, we'll thanks. Promise you we'll do that, okay? Right. We get a break now. I know. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's an age question. What advice would you give your younger self? Oh, right, wow. That's a good question. Um, I think the advice I would give would be not to get too high of the highs and low of the lows and just know that it's not going to always be like straightforward yeah you are great at that though Warbuck. i think you're very i think i've had to chilled. learn it yeah i've had to learn it because i think i went probably went through a bit of a stage where like for us football's everything yeah but what happens when you get injured or you get a setback like yeah you've got to kind of develop them other things around it and it then helps you're on the pitch so. is that coming from obviously starting so young and being with your club and then being at england and being around the setup at such a young age as well and then facing other things like injury, as you mentioned there, yeah. you've had to go through both of those highs and lows at times. Yeah, 100%. And I think because I did start so early, I put so much pressure on myself that that's always going to be the correct path or the right path. And you've got to be this and you've got to be that. Whereas actually you just enjoy yourself, play football. I remember and... us winning the FA Cup and Roebuck was only young and I'm like, come on Roebuck, this is the best <laughs> year ever. It took me 15 years to do this, so I wanted you to get a little bit more uh -huh. high with the highs, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's hard though, isn't it? You're always looking at the next thing and yeah, yeah it doesn't really sink in, but I'm sure one day I'm going to look back and be grateful for everything. So. And your time on Lioness is down under as well, of course. Yeah. That'll be a highlight, surely. <laughs> of course. It will be. Right, well, when we asked um, your teammate Alex Greenwood to get involved in this, OK, get, ask, answering the anonymous questions a few days ago, she said that you make the best cup of tea, all right? Out of everyone, that was her question, who makes the best cup of tea, who makes the worst? Okay. You make the best one. Who do you think she said, if you weren't watching that episode, makes the worst? Who would you say? Um, it's that tough a question. No, there's a few bad ones, but I think LJ... Yeah, that's what she, she said. Did but I would back that. LJ and say she does make a good peppermint tea. Oh, yeah, put the water in it, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. but it, it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah. And Alex was only saying I make the best tea because I'm the one who 
makes the tea. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone else is like, do one. So we had, Ruby got in touch on Insta and wants to know, how do you feel about being the best <laughs> team maker on the team? And I want to know, what is your technique? Is it tea bag, water, milk, sugar, or is it milk, tea bag, hot water? Which way around do you go? Well, it starts by being the volunteer for making the teas. For everyone. For everyone. And it's, you always try and do it on the down low, but everyone seems to hear. Um, tea bag in. Yeah. Hot water. Yes. Let it brew yes. for like two minutes, I would say. Yes. Then milk. Spot. Big tick. There we go. Yeah. A lot of milk, a little bit of milk. What are you? Depends what the, who you're making it for. What about for you? Uh, like build it. Like not builders, builders, but just above that, I would say. Okay. That sounds like my perfect yeah. route. Yeah, she's fair. making really them all the time, does. so yeah. there you go. I don't want to give my secrets away. I'm going to all the time. <laughs> right, well, we've got plenty of questions from England fans, and we actually went out and about at that first game against Haiti. They had a ton of questions for, for yourself, for all of the team. You're going to answer a few of them now, is that okay? Let's go. Right, here's the first one, okay? We were talking about tea a minute ago. This one's all about food. What's your best pre-match snack? And my question is, when you've got an 8 o'clock kickoff, what time are you eating and what is the essential to eat? All right, so uh, best pre-match snack, what are you going for? Well, my pre-match snack and my pre-match meal is always the same. What do you do? Porridge, always. No matter what time? No matter what time. Porridge, right. creature so, of habit. I know, yeah. right. So if it's an 8 p.m. kickoff, the second question was that, what are you eating? Porridge, okay. What time? About three hours before, two, three hours before, I think we yeah. eat. Yeah. So yeah. 5 p.m. you're having porridge? Yeah, we, you know, it. meal patterns on camp are weird. Okay. So weird. Okay. Like, <laughs> you have to bring so. your own routine. Yeah. So this was also a very popular question, and I think I know what you're going to say. Take a look at this. Hey Lionesses, what's your favourite Aussie animal and which one scares you the most? What's your favourite Aussie animal and which one scares you the most? A kangaroo. Yeah. 100%. Scares you or favourite? No, no, favourite. Oh, okay. They're right. so cute, but their feet are massive. Um, I can relate. Cute, yeah. but Me too. huge feet. There you go. Um, the what? I had big fear of snakes and spiders. Yeah. Like big fear, and yeah, I didn't sleep the first night because I thought there was going to be one in my room, but. <laughs> Well, we do like to surprise all of our guests here. We've got a very special snake handler in. Nah. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Not a chance, I'd be off. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. So snakes and spiders are a big no-no. All right, well, final question, okay. And this one, surely it's a no-brainer. Hi, my name's Lisa. I presently live in Nottingham. This is my fifth World Cup. And my question is, who is your favorite former player and who do you look up to? Lisa has been a fan for years. Yeah, I remember I had That's all incredible. the previous Five World Cups. Cups. Yeah, yeah. What wow. a fan. Incredible. Right, question was, your favourite former player and who do you look up to? A former player I for, look up to. Yeah. It's got to be KB. Okay. 100%. Why is that? Oh. Well, when... Sorry, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah, I first, yeah. that, when I first joined City, obviously she was the goalkeeper and, I mean... For years, she, to me, was the best goalkeeper in the world. So it was a great role model to have. Well, through the magic of Lionesses Down Under, we might actually have KB with us. Here we go. All right, Not she's even here. on Zoom, she's <laughs> here. <laughs> All right. How are you? Yeah, good oh. to see you. You good? I'm, I'm so good, glad man. you said Cameron Bardsley there. <laughs> 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 I'm actually yeah. a little bit there. You see a little bit there. we go. I mean... How are you doing, KB? I'm Karen good. Yeah, Welcome I'm good. to Lionesses Down Under. Enjoying Thanks. Australia? Yeah, no, it's been amazing so far. I've been really busy, but finally got over the jet lag, so it's been great. And finally. This is, <laughs> yeah, no, it's taken forever. But this has been a real treat. I mean, you guys are staying in a real nice area. We've just got concrete surrounded us. We're, uh... It's not bad. I mean, look no, at it. It's no, not bad no. at all. Yeah, right. Yeah. So let's just roll out a few stats, okay? All just right. to welcome you on to Stop Lionesses down. down Under, okay? <laughs> You're the Lioness's most capped goalkeeper, a record that you share with Rachel Brown Finnis, okay? You represented England at seven major tournaments and you won every domestic trophy available at Manchester City. <laughs> I mean, oh, what a career that you've had. Right? That. Incredible stuff right there, okay? Oh, gosh. But being back here, being in the camp, 
Must bring back some special memories. No, as well. it does. Yeah, it's wild. I mean, just walking up the stairs, everything was branded. It just looks amazing. I bumped into a few of the girls. I don't know if they secretly told you. I hope they didn't. Nobody actually told me. Did you actually think like I was on Zoom? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Honestly, well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There oh my god, that was a long time ago. Ew, 2013. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Ten years. I know, that's a long time. KB, what have you been up to in Australia? Oh. And also, what teams have impressed you the most? Oh my gosh, right, okay. Um, so, yeah, I've been here obviously with the BBC, so I've been covering some games, just doing some stuff on the radio, so that's been super fun. We went to the Australia-Ireland game and I got to see, you know, like the cultural welcome, which was great, like and obviously an Australia win and like a huge packed stadium, but then also, you know, I've been taken like <laughs> the bus and like the train into town and just I was gonna say this I saw it on your Instagram you're on the bus right yeah yeah things have changed a little bit man no but it's been really good like um it's been so fun to be at some of the games I did uh Columbia Korea this morning and then obviously getting to watch you guys like I think that was probably for me like a bit too exciting you know but yeah. like Haiti was like such a good team yeah. in terms of like they were pacey and like they it caused great, us yeah. problems and yeah. it was it was really fun to watch but obviously we're getting like really tight score lines lots of penalties but then you get germany who's absolutely battered morocco so it's just been a little bit of everything hasn't it the goalkeepers have stolen to be so fair far, you're though. absolutely right say. yeah like mary's been over here. there we go it's true <laughs> that we don't get enough love we yeah. don't get enough love <clears throat> uh, i mean right question for karen and jill right being here being in the camp but also now watching the younger generation coming through at England and a different kind of eye, you're, you're watching them. Uh, I mean, what a picture that is. <laughs> uh, Jill. That, that summed up our time. <laughs> Jill, I'll come to you on this one. How is the game changing? How are you seeing this next level of uh, England talent coming through? What's different about them? Oh, it's amazing, honestly. I'm like a proud parent being in and around <laughs> camp, but yeah. All the girls now are household names and rightfully so. But you know what? What I love about this current England team is basically they don't know how talented they are, but yet so humble and so grounded. So, yeah, for me, watching their journey, as I say, I'm like a proud parent and I'm sure it's the same for you, too. Yeah, as well. I'm blown away by these girls. They really are just amazing human beings. I mean, everyone is so unique. Everyone's themselves. It looks like there's a freedom in the group where everyone can just be who they are, and it's totally normal. Um, everyone loves being together. You know, the, the pictures that you guys are posting on social media are, like, hanging out with kangaroos, going whale watching, hanging out on the beach. Like, there's <laughs> such a cool vibe, which I just love. And then everything, you know, on the pitch, off the pitch, it's just, like, a bigger purpose, which I absolutely love. It's really inspiring. And you can see the connections that are being made, like, you know, through social media and everything like that. Everyone is just under this, like, lioness spell, which I love. Ellie, what's it like for you? Because, obviously, watching someone, idolising a player and then get to play with far, them. Yeah. She said it, she <laughs> yeah, said yeah, it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then getting to play with them, compete for the number one spot as well. I mean, that's what dreams are made of. Yeah, for sure. We were actually roomies at the yeah. last World <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it's crazy, obviously... For me, um, I remember watching the 2015 World Cup and then oh, yeah. being able to then be a part of the 2019 World Cup and obviously rooming with KB. Like, if you'd have asked me at watching at home on the, the 2015 World Cup, if I'd be rooming the next World Cup with the goalkeeper who was in there, then <laughs> for me, that's crazy. But now nah, it's, yeah, it's been special. And to be honest, she's pushed me every, every step of the way. So it's yeah. great. And KB, for you, obviously, witnessing Ellie's journey from such a young age, what potential does she have embarrass her? She's not got anything left. No, she's <laughs> done. No. <laughs> so she's, so she's, reached, she's, done. <laughs> she's reached the ceiling, no. I remember, honestly, when you came in at City, and you'll remember this, Jill, like, you were working with Chris, weren't you, a goalkeeper coach? Um, you know, before you kind of broke into the first team and Chris was always coming in going, oh, we've got this great young keeper that's got loads of potential and I was constantly like, oh, <laughs> where is she? I better buck up my ideas here. Um, no, but you could see like straight away, like you were so carefree and so confident and like just so up for learning and going. You were absolutely fearless and you still are and I absolutely love that. Like you take on all the information, you're brave, you have the ball at your feet, you distribute like your Kira Walsh, you know what I mean? So, I wish, Walsh. Wow. Yeah. That's a big shot. That's a big shot. Well, compared to me anyway. So. 
<laughs> no, but honestly, like it's been it's been a real joy to kind of like watch you take the opportunities and absolutely like just grab hold of them. Because I mean, I remember like perfect example was what was it Chelsea? Was it twenty? What year was that? Twenty nineteen, maybe. Anyway, basically, yeah. I came out. It must have been like five or six minutes in the first half. I got basically table topped by someone. I think it was Kira actually. Yep. She came underneath me, and I ended up like landing straight on my back and my neck and I had to get stretchered off and like oh, taken wow. to the hospital, right? Oh, wow. She's laughing. No, no, no. She was like, I was, I, was looking, looking, I was looking left and right on the bench figure to so going on. So I'm getting stretchered off and I'm thinking I can't really like move my arms or anything like that. But I think Ellie's gonna be fine. She's ready. <laughs> She's ready. And well, lo and behold, I mean she kept a clean sheet and got us a result. So. Yeah and whilst we have the goalkeeper union in here, we do have to give a shout out to Mary Earp the other night, don't we? Two fantastic oh. saves. How crucial Honestly. are them KB? I mean, I was doing the co-commentary with Five Live and I was just like, huge left foot, <laughs> bang! And I was yeah. just like, oh my God, like, this is just incredible because keepers don't get enough love. But yeah, honestly, single-handedly kept kept yeah. England in that game and got, kept the three points for us. Such an important time as well in the game. And I think that type of save is... It's a hard save to do. It's all about timing and everything. And I think it probably goes a little bit under the radar, but I think like the balance yeah. that you have to have, yeah. you know, to be able to get your foot out as quickly as possible as she did, especially like when you're in one v one, like the angle was opening up, she was cutting inside. Like it's a really difficult That's skill. That's my shooting and training. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you say about training though. That's what I wanted to ask because obviously the full team will train together, but goalkeepers will normally work um, very, very hard, but separately from all of that. So you get to see all the hard work you put in, Hannah's putting in, and of course Mary's putting in uh, as well. I mean, and it shows on the pitch as well. I mean, isn't it? these two, like I remember, what was it? Just. <laughs> Was it the Arnold Clark Cup? It must have been. I came to an open training yeah. session with you guys. And you two were all just like having a go at each other, like banging in absolute worldies. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, there's one. And we then... have Toxic Tuesdays. Toxic Tuesdays? Okay, talk. <laughs> toxic Tuesdays. What's this? Talk to me about oh, this. this. We amazing. go like in on each other. Like <laughs> wow, trying okay. bag top bins. Like you have to be on, on it. And if not, you're sinking. That's right. it. Well, that's, I actually that's never it. knew about that. Yeah. No, well, never Tuesday, knew about maybe it. Maybe that's why Jill's been quite mean to me today. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe that's what it is, right? There yeah. we go. Yeah, there we are. Karen, big question. What can this team do at the World Cup? Karen, you. <laughs> I'm getting all formal now. Yeah, yeah. Getting all formal. Are you asking Karen or KB? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking Karen. I want to see your manager. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've, I've kept Karen away. I don't really, she doesn't like coming out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that sounded weird coming out of your mouth. Um, listen, I'm, I'm always, I've always been an optimist. I think like with what I've seen from the, this team in the last few years, what we saw at the Euros, there's so much talent in this squad. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit younger, maybe slightly less experienced in terms of senior level, but I still think the quality is there in, in, in spades and it can yeah. get us through to this final in this tournament. So for me, maybe the biggest test might be around Germany, you know, getting beyond that. But as soon, I think if we can do that, we're in for the shot in the final. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I can't wait to see what will happen. Right, we've got plenty of fan questions coming in, OK? KB, OK, not Karen. <laughs> KB, all right. You're going to help us out with these as well. So right. everyone that's been getting in touch, thank you. Use that hashtag Lionesses down under. Quick fire questions. Jill, take it away. Quick fire. Oh, OK. Sweet. I know, I'm terrible. Oh, I know. <laughs> what terrible a quick fire. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Wendy Wright asks, Ellie will go to you first, have you ever played outfield or have you always been a goalkeeper? No, I have played outfield when I was younger, yeah. What position? Okay. All of them. Where, yeah, <laughs> anywhere that I was needed. Half in net, half outfield. Okay, KB, Kira Hopkins asks, do you have any tips for young goalkeepers? Oh my goodness, I've got loads, but probably not time for all of them. <laughs> I think for me, it, it comes down to two things. Like you have to be brave, but you have to enjoy it. You know, because yeah. if you're not enjoying being brave and putting yourself out there in harm's way, then there's no point. You're never going to get good enough. So okay. those two top Good tips. answer. L Ann Urquhart asks, what's more important in a football team, teamwork or skill? Teamwork. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? And KB, will finish with you. <laughs> Eva Knight all asks, what was the first football shirt you ever had? Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I can answer this. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, one. Roll what is it? Do you want to call? We've got mics on. Yeah. We've got whisper. No, no, no. <laughs> no um, so the first football shirt I ever owned, it's between two, I think. I can't remember because I'm kind of old now. But it was the night, was it 1996 David Seaman goalkeeper shirt? Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Or um, it was a Manchester United shirt. Schmeichel. Oh. Schmeichel shirt. Yeah. He was my hero. Oh, right. Okay. What was yours? Uh, mine, I, uh, 1996, Manchester City, black and red. Uh, was it 96? I think so anyway, yeah. I've got a picture in it, a little cap when I was at school. Yeah, that's my, that's the first one that I had. Ellie? Chef United shirt. Do you remember which one? The Premier League one. The red and white one. No, black and white it was actually. Oh, really? Is <laughs> that from two years ago? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Jill, what was yours? Uh, well, I probably shouldn't say this, but it was actually a Liverpool shirt. Even oh. when I played for Everton for oh, like good. seven years. But you can't it was, know what people buy you, right? It was a present. It okay, was a present. You, you don't get to yeah. choose at that age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, okay, let's move on, okay, before everyone gets in trouble for uh, letting the people know and the world know what shirts they've got. Uh, right, we've got a game, have we? And I've seen you've been eyeing this up, Elliot. I, I know yeah. that you're quite quite confident about this Whoa, one, Whoa, I never you? said that. Oh, yeah. I'm is, competitive. Yeah. Is that what this leaderboard is? It yeah. is, oh, yeah, right. right. So we know, we know that you're good with your hands, so do you fancy putting those <laughs> skills to the test? No giggling, yeah, no giggling. giggling, okay. What are you right. talking about, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got a game for you, as we said. It's called The Tower, and here's a little explainer video that'll tell you all about it. The player will have 30 seconds to carefully remove blocks and place them on top of the tower. The more blocks you move, the taller the tower and the more points you score. Five points are awarded for each complete level built during the 30 seconds. Look out for the special golden blocks hidden in the tower that are worth an extra 10 points if you can stack them in time. But be very careful, because if you crumble, the tower will tumble and you'll score zero points. So Lionesses, are you ready to face the tower? So remember, you've got 30 seconds to build the tower, two blocks at a time, okay? If you want to stop at any point, shout freeze, but that's boring, isn't it? Yeah, no one wants to do that. Esme got 25 points and 105 centimetres yesterday. She's currently top of the leaderboard. What I'll also say is how did she get 25 points? Well, she got some of the double pointers, all right? The 10 point ones, they're all of the gold ones in there. If you stack it with the two, if only one of them has to be a golden brick, okay? You'll get 10 points for that one. Feeling confident? Yep. Are you I think sure? So. You've got this. Look, what's Come the strategy? On. You're already thinking You've about it. Look at you. Look at what you're thinking now. I'm trying to manage it. Okay. So I just stack two. Two at a time, even though so it's three two, like that. You've only got to do two. two. Make it easier for you. Two. Feeling good? Yep. Right. Two. Okay. Let's see if you can beat her score. Thirty seconds on the clock. Ellie Roebuck. Three, two, two one, go. go. Oh, she's gone straight for oh, the goal. We've not made it easy. We've not made it easy. Come on. Right, you need to go quick. Quicker. Come you on. Need to go quick. Right, you've got I'm half. A, Come you, on. You've got half a one. You've only got five points yet. Come on. You've got twenty seconds left. There we go. Well done, okay, KB. five points. Little bit of help. KB's helping. Give Get it a one push. of the gold ones, quick. Come on, 15 yes. seconds, if that. Maybe you, got... you need another gold. Egg. Right, here we go. Is that a gold? Okay. Quick, quick, one, quick. One. Come on. 15 one, points. Oh, this one there. Oh, Get it up. One. Three, two. Oh, okay. All right, okay. You've got a golden one. Okay, two golden ones. And you have got 25 points, all right. So you're already matching that. Points. But let's have a look let's at how see. tall it is. This is the big measurement. All right, okay. What what we say in there? Oh, you know what? It's higher. One. It's 105. Oh, no is this it? It's 105. Joint at the top. Okay, interesting. All right, Ellie, how are you feeling about your performance there? Oh, well, I got a bit flustered a little bit, but I think I'll take that because I think Esme is going to be like good at things like that. So 105. Is it 25 the same? So yeah. one gold block, another gold block here. So um, there we go. I think that's gold as well. Oh, you got, oh, you got three. Right, okay, there's three gold. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. So you go top of the leaderboard, all right. We've had Is the, it really? uh, yeah, yeah. the independent three. advisor in. Three gold blocks, which means 30 points it's in there, all really right. Well done, well done. Well done. KB, what are you saying about that performance? Are you, are you impressed I'm, with, I'm with a, that? I'm, a, I'm an old school Jenga professional, so, or I mean, other games are available. Points. Of course. But <laughs> so we have to get you on later. We're, we're going to get you to have a go off nah, camera, right? See nah. if you can beat everyone. I mean, I'm quite that impressed. That is decent. Anyway, You're yeah. going to start in the middle. You know what? I thought you were fantastic. <laughs> so this is a little takeaway just for Thanks. you. Wow, you're practicing that all day. It works, it works out one. perfectly. Okay, like right. Well, we've come to the end of the show, even though it was yeah, a bit of a frantic one. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Ellie Roebuck, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a good sport. Everyone in the studio, round of applause. <laughs> Woo! And of course, another round of applause for KB. Yes. Okay, incredible stuff right there. Thank you, everyone. Joe, what a show. Yeah, what a show. And please join us tomorrow where we will be joined by, drum roll. Oh, come on. Who is it? Lotta Wubamoy. Oh, my yeah. favourite. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I love her. You used to say that to me. Yep. Get your questions in using the hashtag lionesses down under. Yeah, well, Ellie, thank you so much. Karen Bardley, KB, thank you so much. <laughs> KB won't be with us tomorrow, but you can find us 12.30 as always on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and TikTok. Can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching everyone.